can wait for this new canvas to pop up. Now my clients, their colors are black and gold. Um, it's a couple, they're celebrating their birthday really, really soon, which is really cool. Um, so I am going to make this canvas black. And I just hit this color square, turn this to black. And I have my black background. Now, I can't use my client's picture because client um, privacy, basically. So I'm just gonna use some stock uh, photos here within Canva just to show you how I created this. So once again, their colors are black, black, black and gold. So I'm gonna do the background black, but I'm gonna go into photos in black and gold and what I used was something like power so if you watch the television show power and big city buildings and stuff like that and I was able to find this really cool uh, building in black and gold in Canva um, it should be coming up soon and so here it is so it has a white background I'm just gonna stretch this all the way out to the edges and what I want to do is to get rid of this white, right? So click on Effect, remove the background. And we're gonna wait for that to process. When it processes, all of the white should be gone. So we're just waiting for that to happen. What I'm gonna also do is pull a picture of another um, couple, just so you can see the fullness of this design that I did. And make sure you always click Apply once you remove the background, it looks good, it looks fine. Now, for me, in order for me to do the words, I uh, what I did was I took this actual, the way that the buildings are, and I just changed the, 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 um, the direction of it. So I'm still waiting for this to process with the background removed. And so it's gonna say saving pause. Once it says that it's all saved, then it's gonna be just fine. So once that happens, we'll be able to continue with the design. I changed the building. I think I had it, yeah. So I had the buildings this way, but to stay that way. And now it's fully processed because it says all changes saved. So now what I did was the name of their, the birthday celebration is Next Level Loading. So I went to the text box. Click on text, well, the, the, big, the bigger text, because it's gonna take up this entire middle space. And so just type in the caps on next level. <laughs> My spelling. Because <laughs> I wanna make sure you guys get this. And because I want it all on the same line, I'm just gonna pull it in some and spread it out. Now, I don't like this particular text. Uh, well, this particular font. So I am going to choose another font. Let's see. That one looks good. So let's go with that one. So push it in, bring it over, push it in just a little bit more, just so those words can have space here. So now we have the next level loading. Now I wanted to do like a mirror effect for the words. So all I did was click on the text box, click this button here that says duplicate, and I brought it down exactly. You see how the pink lines are aligning it? And what I did was made it transparent so it can give like that mirror effect. So now there are the words. I think I'm gonna go down just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. And so their names, it's John and Bridget. And so in this next text, I typed in um, um, Oh, again, because I want this on the same line and I'm staying within the guidelines of their color scheme of black and gold. What I'm gonna do is make this just a little bit smaller so it doesn't overpower the title of the birthday celebration. I'm probably gonna make that a little bit smaller. So let's go down to 120. I think that's good. 
and I'm going to make the words gold. The great thing about Canva is that if you're looking for the same colors that's in the picture that you may have on this particular uh, design, here it pulls the colors from the photo. I'm going to go with this gold, which is perfect. So now it matches. I'm going to make this gold as well. Um, let's, uh, you know what? Let's take off the bold. So, put that there. You still have the mirror effect. So now it's time to add the couple, right? So I'm gonna go here, because I'm not gonna use my client. And now I'll type in Bussy Power Couple. Because their photo was really, really nice. So, a couple of photos here. Um, stock photos from Canva. So I'm gonna use this couple. And now, of course, them looking like this will mess up the entire design. But what you can do, again, is go back to effects and remove the background. And so while we're waiting for that to process, I'm just thinking of placement of how I'm going to put the couple where I want the couple to be because this is a pretty big deal for their birthday. So click apply once the background is removed. I want to, we want to make sure that this isn't paused, but because it's processing, it's saying that the saving is paused. And once it looks like everything is in place, we can kind of stop messing with the design with the background removed. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and start moving them down. And I'm going to change their position by clicking position and bringing them forward because I don't want the words to be over them. So I'm gonna bring them down just a little bit and stretch them out here and put them in the middle. And that's the first part of their, their uh, the cover of their invitation. Again, it's gonna be animated. So what I did was with next level loading was click on animate. And I did the typewriter animation and then with them, allow them to come in. So you could do like a photo flow. You can do a rise where they're rising up into the invitation. A breathe where they're kind of coming towards. And I love breathe. So I'm going to use that for the sake of this video. And so you can see it here. Now, the next important part, of course, is the information. So I'm just going to take this couple select the couple, hit the duplicate sign, come down, drag them down into this second part. And what I'm gonna do is stretch them out a little bit more, just that it could be a little bit more prominent in the invitation. And I'm gonna slightly take them down in transparency, just so the words won't be jumping. So, just to keep the uh, the title of the birthday celebration. I'm gonna duplicate this as well, the wording, and I'm gonna bring this down, all the way down to the bottom of the invitation. Then the great thing is, if you don't wanna think about placement, what information you may need or feel like is missing, what I do is I click add page. I go to templates, type in birthday invitation. It's already there, so I'll click on it. And just choose something like this and take the text from there and drag it up. Of course, using that as a placement um, text. And then also take something like this because you might need, you know, RSVP. Put that there. And then I just delete this because I don't need it anymore. I just needed this important part. So for the sake of this video, we'll leave the um, the wording like this. But what I'm going to do is change the text um, just because I want to change the text to something different. Let's go with... You know what? Right, so I like that one. I think I'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit thicker. Now, I want it to be a little bit bigger, so I'll make the text bigger. 
Now, remember we did the animation of the words here. When you duplicate it, it still keeps the same setting. So even when I click on it here, it's still um, keeping the animation. I'm gonna change the, the text, like, well, the font type of this uh, text box and put that there. And because of the name of the place of where they're having it at, let's just say they're having it at, I don't know. Um, Club 44, I don't know. I'll type that in. I'm a script person. I really, really like script. So I'm bring this in and then stretch it out because I want it to be bigger. It's just easier to do it this way when changing the font size instead of constantly clicking here or going until Canva, you know, cuts it off. It's just easier to stretch out your text, go as big as you want, small as you want. So. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna find a script by going to the text box. And let's type in calligraphy. Um, so far I don't see what I want, so I'm gonna take that out, type in script. And let's see what, ooh, a lot more fonts are here. That's the other thing too about Canva, they have really, really great fonts. So, still not seeing what I want, so let's type in cursive. And we will go with, oh, I don't know. So, it's not my favorite one, but because it's so script, we can pull that out and put that here. And even if you can't find the, the, the font that you want, you can just, you know, scroll until you do. Because it's tons and tons and they keep adding more. It's a little overwhelming, y'all. Oh, I like this one. So let's stretch that out. And we're going to bring it in just a bit so it won't overpower. And so what I'm going to do with this text is click on effects. And I'm just gonna lift it off the page a little bit and stretch it all the way over to 100. Just so it can stand out a little bit more. And this is the second part of the invitation that I did. Now, what I did was with um, this particular text box is animate it. And so, I think I'm gonna go with roll. So you can kind of see how it rolls in. Now here's my favorite part. So now we have the top part of, well, the, the cover rather, of the invitation. And then we have the, the second part of it with the information, all of that jazz. And now we can click this button up here. It's a 10 second video, so we'll click and this is what the invitation will look like. And of course, if you want it to be longer, you can make it longer. With the animation, the way to do that is to click on the animation here. Well, click on the actual, forgive me, click on the actual um, design. And you see where it says five seconds? This is where you can change the timer. So if you wanted this to be a little bit longer for readability, or if you wanted this one to be longer, you can do the same and change it to seven seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, however long you want it to be. Now the important part is making sure that you save it right. So for my clients, what I did was I downloaded it as an MP4. And then when you download it as an MP4, it will show up just like the way that it played just like this. And then um, what I did was, because we live in a world of GIFs, some people say GIFs, the GIF uh, format, and you're allowed to do that here in Canva, click download, change the type to short clip, no sound, and you can say, you know, make sure both pages are selected. 
and save it like that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Once it downloads, the other way that I did it was I also saved um, each design as a uh, JPEG, which is a picture form. So just in case someone has an outdated phone or can't really see it, they'll be able to send all versions to them. And you just go back to download, change it to JPG, because um, some people have uh, limits of uh, download, um, megabytes, gigabytes, whatever phone service or plan they have. So that happens too. And it lets you know that the animation won't show up, but at least it will show up as an invitation and they'll um, be able to have it. And I just, instead of doing both of them at once, I just do them separately. And then click done and then go back and do the same thing for the second one. So this is what the GIF, GIF, however you pronounce it, looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like, a moving GIF pretty much um, animation. So that's how I created a animated invitation for my clients. You know, we're always figuring out different ways to evolve and um, do things. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you like this. Once again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.